Welcome from Buffalo, New York, in tonight's Monday Night Raw. Last week, Orton had to not only beat the Intercontinental Champion, but also beat back an impromptu challenge by Matt Hardy. I'm sure the World Heavyweight Champion is hoping for a more laid-back evening. We'll see if he gets it. How could it be my fault if you were the one who got pinned? Because you're the one who hung me out to dry. You're the one... Hey, cut that crap out. You're a team. Some team, Randy. I can't tag out for a minute's rest without him looking up at the lights. Maybe if you were better at something other than taking a beating, you wouldn't have to tag out so quick. That's enough. You've both got a lot of talent, but everybody has an off night. That's no reason to break up a great team. Yeah, you're right, Randy. But I need to know, which one of us is the better superstar? I'd be happy to show you tonight. If you think that'll solve things, then do it. Have a match tonight and squash this. Okay, I'll do that. But Randy, will you be the ref? That way there will be no question that I beat Teddy Boy here legit. I'm fine with Randy refereeing. Fine, I'll do it. But after this, don't make me play kindergarten teacher again. I really wish that they didn't. I, 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 I mean, I really wish that they didn't take the uh, uh, guest referee thing out of uh, the WWE series because I know in most cases it's pretty useless. But still, I think it'd just be fun just to be the guest referee every now and then and just screw with the superstars. Uh, I'm gonna save before I continue. Ted DiBiase versus Cody Rhodes, single match, guest referee Randy Orton. Now, from what I understand, there isn't really any stipulation or anything, or anything that you really have to do. I'm just gonna pause. The following pause. contest is scheduled Stop. for one fall. Introducing first the special guest referee, Randy Orton. A lot of times, they tend to do these things where, where one of the weeks. In, uh, in the WWE stories, it's just something that I, I, I mean, where you really don't have to do anything. It's just something you can do just to screw around with everything, you know. And this is, I think, this is one of those weeks, actually, if they qualify as that. Oop! Didn't mean to skip that entrance, but okay. Whatever. Last month, these two men were world tag team champions. Yeah, I'm the referee. I'm the referee. I'm the ref. Get up. <laughs> Superstars were already up. Get Ted. Get Cody. Ow. That was... That was a call for two! Yeah. What are they don't screw the with the ref. I don't believe this! What? But I sure do like it. And here we go. RKO! Now I believe according to the I believe according to Michael Cole and um uh, and and uh, and, and uh, Jerry Lawler, uh, they said that Cody and Ted would have uh, uh, is teaming up on us that yeah, it was like a gang up or on us or something well, like that. But as you can plainly tell, I'm actually right. dealing with these guys quite easily, except for that. Which target? There we go. Actually, I think we're gonna pin. Oh! Oh no! The referee is dead. <laughs> I actually did that, and even though I had only gotten hit like once in that um in that entire fight, and it was obviously a back club, it still counts as taking some damage, and all the damage is done in the cutscene, no nowhere else. Why didn't Orange just go for like a double RKO there? I have no idea. 
And that's something I'd like to see, though, a double RKO. I, I think he's done it at one point. Who would have guessed these two would turn on Randy like this? Not me, Michael. I thought these three were on the same page. I have no love for Randy Orton, but I still don't like the look of this. Chair sandwich. Did you hear that sickening sound? Two steel chairs right against Randy Orton's skull. God, that has to hurt. What can we say, Randy? You taught us well, but we're younger and hungrier than you are. And you said it yourself, Randy. You're the new legend in WWE. Since that's the case, you can just consider us the new legend killers. What? I mean, something that I found really strange in, uh, I mean, a lot of the road to WrestleMania is that they actually tell kind of the future of WWE. Because I believe something very identical to this happened in, um, uh... I'm in a. I'm actually a year after this uh, this game's release. So this game has a creepy way of telling the future. If you want to know what's going to happen like a year from now in this for future, this future just play as Rose WrestleMania. And last week, game. things finally caught up. The champion Randy Orton. It was from an unlikely source too. His supposed friends Ted DiBiase and Cody Rhodes. They certainly did a number on Orton. It's painful to watch. Randy, cheer up. You couldn't compete tonight, but the doc says you should be cleared next week. What I plan to do, I don't need to because do. Because Week Eight match. consists of nothing but cutscenes. I'm featuring in the. I mean, in the same hungry. video as Episode just Seven, like or maybe I'll feature uh, in the same episode I mean, like as uh, Mad, uh, well, Mad, Mad, Mad Week Nine great. or whatever. Take the side of the guys who caved in your kid's skull Wait, with this is Week Seven. I didn't mean it like that. I, Not Week I Eight. Just, this way, is Week Seven. Dad. Nobody is more driven and ruthless than I am. And if you didn't know that already... Does RKOing someone on, I'm on a car make it any more painful? A little delay there in the rumble feature. Anyway, in the next part, I guess Randy Orton's gonna do everything he can to get his revenge. Alright, I'll see you guys then.